The Crestwood Cadets fell in week number one to a very talented MFL Marmac squad in Monona last week. This cadet coach conversation with Justin Denner brought to you by Wilson Custom Tree Service. And coach, what were your main takeaways from week number one? Uh, MFL is really good, man. Um, it was it was fun to see them play live. Um, you know, ultimately, I felt uh, our guys, um, the inexperience of uh, playing in a varsity position on Friday night kind of showed up that first half and um, you know, we'd have a, a good play and then um, we'd end up making two bad ones in a row and ultimately uh, really good teams take advantage of your mistakes. And um, we fell into uh, too big of a hole there at halftime, but um, I thought our guys handled and responded really well that second half once we were able to kind of get a breath and um, the game kind of slowed down a little bit for us there and, um, you know, played really well that second half. And I, I was pleased with that. And we just got to continue um, developing and getting better here. In you mentioned there was a good play, then you uh, went back a couple of plays. Was there enough good last week that you feel confident heading into not only this week, but the uh, rest of the season? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, and uh, each time you watch film, um, you know, the first time you watch it, you're really, really angry because of just you didn't perform as well as you'd want to. But, you know, when you're able to kind of break some things down and slow some things down, even some of the plays that we that weren't really good, you know, we're one one small thing or one, you know, technique thing away from from being in a really good spot. And, you know, it's about uh, fixing those mistakes and and then, you know, turning, you know, some of those, you know, semi bad plays into good ones. And, um, you know, that's the goal for us this week is to have more more good than bad. Reading between the lines sounds like a case of on the job training in many spots. Is that fair to say? Oh, absolutely. You know, um, our quarterback, you know, Dylan Shelton um, hasn't played a game of quarterback since probably his freshman year, you know, and so, uh, you know, having him try to do, you know, some things that first time going against a defense that's very aggressive, that's blitzing a bunch of guys all the time, um, you know, is, is a very tall task. And, you know, he, you know, he admitted he was, you know, didn't really know which way was up the first half, but, you know, by the time the second half came around, he felt pretty good. And, um, you know, kind of same thing with, you know, some of our linemen, um, you know, we felt good about them coming into the game, but, you know, anytime um, you're going against that tough of a, of a defense, um, you know, and even that tough of an offensive line, um, you know, there's a lot of learning and a lot of on the job training that comes around and we just got to make sure that we accelerate the process. And when it comes to the linemen itself, uh, how much of that is, uh, just making sure they're ready to go at game speed, not only as individuals, but as a collective unit. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that, that unit cohesiveness is so huge. Um, you know, offensive line, especially with, you know, all five guys and, um, you know, we lost, you know, our kind of our two main vocal guys last year, you know, um, Zach Meemert and Alex Remfer were, were really talkative about, you know, getting people every in the right spot and all that type of stuff. And um, we've been, you know, kind of harping that, we got to have guys step up and, and do that communication now so that we're, you know, all on the same page. And, um, you know, it's okay if they know kind of where we're going because ultimately it becomes then a who's better than who type of a deal. You know, we don't need to you know be surprised. Like we feel good about, you know, what we got. We just have to continue to um, communicate and, um, you know, get to where we're supposed to be. And this week, another road trip, another tough opponent, the independence Mustangs is on your schedule and, Talk about independence. Uh, what'd you see on the film of uh, their game against North Fayette Valley? Yeah. You know, uh, you know, another long road or actually our longest road trip of the year for us, um, you know, get it done week two, which is good. Um, but, you know, independence is a great team, you know, returning uh, class three, a state uh, quarterfinalist as well, I believe um, from last year. Um, they've got, you know, some really good pieces uh, wide receiver um, really, really tough. Um, you know, vertical threat for them. They've got a, an H back that's, uh, you know, kind of sol very, very solid plays both ways on the defensive line and then H back and, you know, things kind of run through him, um, you know, and they, they were very opportunistic um, against North Fayette Valley. You know, um, it was 14, 14 and a half there. And um, they got, you know, three turnovers there in the second half that uh, led to 21 points really, really quickly, um, which kind of helped, you know, blow the game up. And so for us, it'll be, you know, making sure that we control the ball and, um, you know, not turn it over uh, and give them short fields and, um, you know, be able to, you know, go from there. So, you know, we're excited for the matchup, excited to play another quality opponent um, in our district, non-district play to get ourselves ready. Um, but, you know, we're excited for, for the matchup here. And you talked about the uh, turnover game and independence taking advantage of that. Probably uh, one of your 
main positives last week. Uh, you didn't turn the ball over with all the inexperience on offense. Is that a small victory? Yeah, I mean, I mean, we did fumble, I think, four times, but we got on it all four times, mm-hmm. which is great, you know, so, um, you know, positive. I mean, yeah, we didn't we didn't turn it over. That was good. Um, you know, and ultimately it was it was one of those deals. We got behind the sticks a lot. You know, we had, um, you know, if we'd have a good first down play or something and we get a holding call, you know, and then all of a sudden it's back to, you know, second and, you know, whatever. And, you know, we're not fully fully designed to be able to handle that um you know but especially against a great team but yeah I mean we did a lot of good things um a lot more than what you know a 35 nothing score would indicate um and we're just trying to make sure that our guys understand that um that we're a lot closer than you know it ind- you know what it indicate but we have to then you know make sure that we don't make those same mistakes again all right, uh, Coach, hopefully you can get on the uh, winning track this week. Uh, keep your kids healthy. We wish you best of luck uh, in your longest road trip of the year. Good to get it out of the way, way in week number two, as you said. Yep, thank you. Go Cadets. Justin Denner, head coach of the Crestwood Cadets, brought to you by Wilson Custom Tree Service.